The other primary cultivation tool I use is a slightly modern version of two-inch shovels. We call these the Curbco bat wings, and they're for single row cultivation, although I have seen them used in, in other applications in two and three and four row cultivation. What they consist of is a series of old car bumpers that have been fashioned into these bat wings for throwing dirt. Uh, some of the things I, I really like about it are if I have some very mature weeds and them come in quite late, uh, it will it cuts under them and cuts them quite effectively and rips them up. Uh, it's quite effective where I do have some witchgrass because again it rips it up. Vegetable farmers and their weed control machines. In this video, we visit nine vegetable farms in three New England states to talk with growers about their weed control equipment and how it's used. They will describe a variety of cultivation tools and approaches to weed control. Hopefully, their knowledge and experience will help you get a better understanding of cultivation equipment and techniques. Matching cultivation tools to the soils, crops, weeds, and other particulars of a farm can be a complex task. Growers that are trying to reduce or eliminate their reliance on herbicides need information that will help them make good decisions about cultivation and weed control. Extension, research, and the private sector working together can generate that kind of information. Funded in part by the USDA Sustainable Agriculture Research and Education Program, promoting environmentally sound and economically viable agriculture. This video was produced by Vern Grubinger, University of Vermont Extension System, and Mary Jane Else, University of Massachusetts Agroecology Program.